Hello, I'm Stumpy the Squirrel. Let's make a game with RPG in a box. In this tutorial, we'll create a startup script, and then test our game with quick play. Let's get started. Start up RPG in a box and open your How to Make a Game project. If we attempt to use quick play right now, you'll see that it requires a startup script and a player character. The startup script tells RPG in a box what actions should occur when the player first starts a new game, for example loading a map. We already have a player character, so let's create a startup script. Cancel out of this dialog, then click the new resource button. Select script for the type, then enter a descriptive name. Let's call it startup. Click OK to create the script. The scripting system in RPG in a box is called Boxite, like the sedimentary rock. The main area displays a visual representation of the script. Each action or piece of logic is represented by a visual node. The bottom area displays the corresponding Boxite code. Let's take a look at the visual script. The green start node indicates where the script will begin. As it is now, the script will display a message of hello world. The first thing we want our game to do is load our forest village map. Disconnect the display message node by clicking the yellow input dot and dragging away from the node. Click and drag the node to move it to the side for now. The script tools panel on the left contains logic and events we can add to the script. We want to load a map, so either scroll down to load map in the list, or use the search box to locate it. Click and drag the load map item into the visual script area, to the right of the start node. If it's close enough, the editor will automatically connect the load map node to the start node. As you can see, the boxite code at the bottom is automatically updated as you modify your script. Since we only have one map in our project, the forest village map is already selected. However, let's change the default starting position for the player. Open the forest village map by double-clicking it from the game explorer. Select the edit tool from the editor tools panel, or press F2. Right-click on a tile towards the top of the map, then select Copy XYZ Coordinate. Go back to our script in the script editor, then click the Paste Coordinate button on the Load Map node. Next, click the blue output dot on the Load Map node, then drag over to the yellow input dot of the Display Message node to connect them. Let's also change the text of the Display Message node to something more fitting. When a new game is started, the script will load the forest village map with the player character position on the specified tile, then display our welcome message to the player. Now that we're done editing, save the script. We could press quick play again and choose our startup script and player character from the resulting dialog. However, let's instead learn about the game configuration dialog. To open your game configuration, Either click the gear button on the Game Explorer toolbar, or double-click the Game Configuration item from the list. Your Game Configuration contains many different settings related to your game. We'll be covering these in future tutorials. Select our new script from the Startup Script drop-down, then select me, Stumpy, for the player character. Click OK to save the Game Configuration. Press Quick Play to test out our game. Click New Game. This will trigger the startup script we created. Wonderful, your game is now up and running. The game loaded our forest village map and the welcome message is displayed. Click anywhere or press space to close the message box. To rotate the camera, hold the right mouse button and drag left or right or press shift plus the left or right arrow key. Use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, or press shift plus the up or down arrow key. To move me around, left click on a tile. 
You can also move me around using the WASD keys or the arrow keys. Congratulations, you've created your first game with RPG in a box. But this is only the beginning, as there are still many more fun things to learn. Thank you so much for watching, my dear friend. You are a lovely and wonderful person. Until we meet again.